Welcome to the Gould's Water Technology Turbine Pumps e-learning course. This course consists of three modules that provide an opportunity to enhance your knowledge of vertical turbine or large borehole pump products, turbine pump applications, pump design, the basic engineering requirements for vertical turbine pumps, and proper pump selection criteria. Module 1 will provide you with an overview of the different types of turbine pumps, their configurations, and their common applications. When you complete this module, you should better understand the type of pumps in the product portfolio and the uses suited to each type of pump. A turbine pump is a type of centrifugal pump that relies on stacked pump bowls to provide velocity energy to move large volumes of water or fluid vertically rather than horizontally, like an end suction pump. Vertical turbine pumps are typically more efficient than horizontal pumps and deliver major operational cost savings. These pumps also need much less floor space because the pump unit, bowls, column, discharge head, and motor are all stacked vertically. All vertical turbine type pumps, except for mixed flow pumps, add head pressure by stacking more stages, much like stacking batteries for more voltage. The more stages the turbine has, the higher the pressure needs it can meet, and more efficiently unlike a horizontal type pump, which is limited in the pressure it can produce. There are two basic types of turbine pumps, the line shaft and the submersible. The primary difference between the two is the location of the motor. On a line shaft pump, the motor is above ground, while the motor on a submersible pump sits beneath the bowl assemblies, as the name suggests, fully submerged in the fluid to be pumped. This can be a benefit where noise is a consideration, since a submerged motor runs quieter at the surface. Plus, submersibles are often easier to install than line shaft turbines in sites requiring deep set pumps, and can be advantageous where a site has slightly crooked wells. Whether it's a line shaft or submersible configuration, turbines generally have four basic subassemblies a multi stage bowl assembly, which is submerged in the liquid and contains the impellers. The hydraulic performance required determines the number of bowl stages a pump needs. A column assembly, or riser pipe, which the liquid flows through to the surface. The discharge, which changes the fluid's direction from vertical to horizontal, supports and aligns the driver, and connects to the system piping. And the motor assembly, either above ground or submerged. Some applications will require a robust design, depending on the pumped fluid. Pumps can be engineered with different features, such as enclosed line shafts and specialized materials to help protect against abrasives and corrosive fluids. Flexible pump lengths enable the pumps to fit in any application. Because of the stacked nature of pump bowl assemblies, these heavy-duty multi-stage pumps offer tremendous flexibility in pump design and can be built in four different pump types. The first two of these types we've already covered, the line shaft vertical turbine and the submersible turbine. In addition, there are canned turbines, which can feature a line shaft or submersible pump combined with a fluid reservoir, and mixed flow turbine pumps. Let's take a closer look at some of the differences between the configurations and common applications for each type. The vertical line shaft pump falls into three main categories. Deep Well Turbine, or DWT. This is a pump for deep, narrow wells in industries such as agriculture and mining. Vertical Industrial Turbine, or VIT, and Vertical Industrial Canned Turbine, or VIC. The VIT and VIC are short-set pumps used for sump, pit, and reservoir pumping in industries such as oil and gas or for municipalities and manufacturers. The VIT configuration requires a large open sump or well, making submergence depth and pump placement critical for peak performance, while the VIC has suction piping connected to the can inlet, which allows the can to create the reservoir. The VIC is also designed to allow NPSH available to be increased to meet NPSH required. Vertical line shaft turbines are available in many sizes, from 5-inch to 48-inch diameters, with flows to 50,000 gallons per minute and head pressures over 1,000 feet. 
Column assemblies are available in two configurations, enclosed or open line shafts. This means the line shaft is either exposed to the media pumped or is surrounded by a controlled fluid in a tube. The configuration depends on the application. Next, the Vertical Industrial Submersible Pump, or VIS, is also known as the Large Borehole Pump. It has two main configurations. The most common are shown here. Vertical submersible turbines are available in many sizes, from 5 inch to 20 inch, with flows to 8,000 gallons per minute and head pressures over 1,000 feet. You'll notice that the submersible vertical turbine is much narrower than the line shaft pump, giving it a lower maximum flow rate. The VIS is also available in a canned configuration in which the suction inlet is in the reservoir can. This model is most commonly used for boosting fluids. Mixed flow pumps are designed for situations with high flow and low head pressures. These are short set pumps that range from 6 to 12 inches, with flows ranging from 120 to 5,500 gallons per minute, and head pressures ranging from 5 feet to 70 feet. Unlike line shaft or submersible pumps, mixed flow pumps are single stage only, and the bowl assembly only contains an open impeller. There are three primary markets where these pumps are commonly used. Agriculture, industrial, and municipal. Each market requires slightly different materials to handle the media, from clean water to hydrocarbons to toxic fluid, and configurations that vary from short sets, deep sets, and canned pumps to submersible vertical turbine type pumps. It is also important to note that these applications often demand custom features, such as enclosed line shafts and specialized materials for protection against abrasives or corrosive fluids, and to add strength for high pressure situations. Both line shaft and submersible pumps are highly customizable and able to meet these demands. Here are some of the main applications for these pumps. Some examples of surface water applications include raw water intake from lakes, ponds, or rivers, open pit mine dewatering for rainwater removal, and water recovery from other surface water locations. Common groundwater applications for turbine pumps include water intake from wells or underground aquifers. They're also commonly used in comprehensive underground mine shaft dewatering strategies. Because of the high head pressure capabilities available with multi-stage turbine pump configurations, system designers can reduce the number of boosting stations required to transport water over great distance or from great depths. Short set or canned turbines are also found in booster applications. Next, we'll examine some specific examples of turbine configurations used in these common applications. For agriculture and municipal groundwater supply, the pump types that are used most are the Vertical Industrial Submersible Turbine, or VIS, and the Deep Well Turbine Pump, or DWT. When a VIS is used in this application, it will also include a drop pipe and a wellhead. The VIS and the DWT are ideal in these applications because the bowl assembly stages are stacked to achieve the necessary head pressure for pumping from water tables deep below the Earth's surface. Flows in these applications are normally lower, but with high head pressures. Often, agricultural well locations are out of reach of electrical power, so a combustion engine is used to power the turbine. In the case of the line shaft shown here in a cornfield, a right angle gear is fitted on the discharge head to turn the horizontal power to vertical power and feed water into the center pivot sprinkler to irrigate the crop. Turbine pumps used in industrial process applications serve a wide range of pumping needs, including industrial water supply, raw water intake, hydrocarbon oils pipeline boosting, pumping high pressure hydrocarbon gases, commercial fire protection, storage terminal transport and boosting, power generation, and many more. The pumps commonly used for these applications are the Vertical Industrial Turbine, or VIT, and the Vertical Industrial Can Turbine, or VIC, because of the increased efficiencies and smaller footprint required than that of a horizontal pump. Additionally, 
the VIC's ability to allow NPSH available to be increased to meet NPSH required is another reason these pumps are ideal for industrial applications. The pump types most often used in seawater applications are the VIT, VIC, and VIS. Some common applications for these turbines include seawater lift for offshore drilling rigs and vessels, salt water or brackish water supply for desalination, seawater intake, and fire protection. Typically, the VIT is used for short set applications of less than 50 feet. Deeper sets may require more accommodations to ensure proper bearing lubrication. In these instances, a VIS is a good fit, because the units are submerged in the fluid and can vary in length to fit any design configuration. These applications also often demand custom features, such as enclosed line shafts and specialized materials for protection against abrasives or corrosive fluids, and to add strength for high-pressure situations. The turbine pumps most frequently used in mining applications are the VIT and VIS. The most common applications for these pumps are dewatering, process water feed, and raw water intake. The flexibility to customize the pump materials, features, and lengths enable the pumps to fit in any application and protect against abrasives or other corrosive fluids. Common applications for turbine pumps in the commercial building services market include cooling towers, condenser water circulation, HVAC and chiller feeds, water cooling, and high-rise building water. The pumps that serve these applications are the VIT and VIC. They're capable of high head pressures to reach the top of skyscrapers. Plus, they're highly efficient, which leads to cost savings, and they don't take up much floor space. The main pumps used in public water transport are the VIT and VIC. Each pump type offers many opportunities for customization. From special coatings on standard carbon steel fabrications and cast iron components to specialized materials for each component. We'll cover all the custom component options in an upcoming module. As mentioned previously, the VIT requires a large open sump or well on the property and submergence depth and pump placement are critical. Alternatively, the VIC is designed to create its own sump. There are other commercial applications that we didn't cover, including water parks and snowmaking.